I've uh, chosen the theme for Lent. All the how many days in Lent? Anybody know? No. They're 46, but you don't count Sundays. So, so I'll give you that. I'm sorry. That's a trick question. You say there are 40 days of Lent, and actually, if you count all the days starting today until we get to Easter, there will be 46 days. But you subtract because we're not to be so somber on Sunday morning. There should be a party going, praising God, glorifying God. That's what Sunday, Sabbath, worship, Saturday night, and Sunday in our church. That's what it's about, celebrating the glory of God, giving God thanks for the life of Christ. We thank Christ for dying for our sins of Sunday. But those other 40 days, they're legit. We should be praying. And so and we should be fasting. I'm going to do that to share. I don't always do that. We're not, we don't have to. But uh, I'm, I'm going to do that. Um, just as a way to, as hunger sets in, that's usually within the first minute, uh, when hunger <laughs> sets in, then you begin to get yourself off of that and begin to thank God, remember God, pray to God, that sort of thing. You know? And if I do it right, whatever meal I fast, I should give that money to the church. And so that, that's really what fasting is about. When I was a boy, I ran around with a lot of Catholic folks, uh, in my uh, neighborhood, and everybody had to give up something. And they want to know what you did in your church. I said, well, we never really talked about it in our church, you know. And so we came home with my brothers, and I said, well, all our Catholic buddies, Jim and John and Fred down the street, they're all giving up something. So my brother said, I've given up cigars. <laughs> he was 11 at the time. <laughs> my other brother was going to give up black licorice. I was giving up peace. Um, but the point of giving something up is you give up what you like in order to, to show God, I don't have to have that. I will rely upon you. My hope is in you. My strength is in you. Really, that's, that's really what, what Lent is about. And so I'm going to invite you. The theme I've, I've chosen for throughout is take time to be holy. Speak off of the Lord those kinds of things. But it, it will make us stronger individuals. And if we need more, something more now than we've ever needed before, we need people and leaders and Christian folk to have a strong, strong insight, a good spiritual depth to who we are. For you see, when the world gets in crisis, all kinds of crazy things will be said. We need to know who we are. We need to know what we're about. What gives us hope and strength. Not something that is ever so fleeting, and, and that, that's happened to us as a culture and as a world many, many times. Law us to sleep with the goodies of life. When we need a good, strong fortitude to deal with whatever life is bringing us. Um, I've said it before, and it may sound like it's a joke to some people, uh, some good friends, I won't mention their names, uh, but from this church and others, who have uh, met their maker and have returned to God who gave them. One of the things I say upon their death is, when I die, I want to die just like that. Not afraid, but to die in dignity and strength. To be able, in a way, to close your eyes with a smile, knowing that all will be well with your soul. And what always amazed me over the years, that these people never went to seminary. Most of them were not even Bible teachers. Just good old folks who come to church, who read their Bible, who pray to their God, who listens occasionally to the sermon, are inspired by the choir, who listens, and all they do is go out from these doors and live their Christian life quietly and proudly, but with this inner strength. You know that. You know that. It's not always the most popular people among us. It's not always the leaders of the church who somehow when you say their name, you'll say, that's how I want to be. If I have a problem, this is how I want to deal with it. When the, the doctor may say to me, when I was younger, the doctor said, you've got three days to live. I'd probably just go, I'm done. Or I'd run away. But people have taught me over the years, you give it to God. One day at a time. 